Hi there guys, Agrippa Maxenius here, coming at you with a very, very quick video on the game Don't Starve. Now, it is uh, the holidays, and I thought it would be cool to go ahead and show you guys how to survive during the winter. And really, this is not necessarily a full survival manual, this is kind of just telling you what you need to survive in the winter. Now, if you look over here, I've got these things, drying racks. These things are beautiful. Um, you desperately need drying racks in the winter to survive. This is very, very important, and you're going to put your meat on here. Another thing is, during the winter, you're not going to want to really be much of a farmer anymore. You're going to want to be a trapper because none of your stuff is going to be growing. Um, as you can see, I'm trapping all these rabbits. I've got traps set up all around my camp. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Kill another poor little rabbit. Where is he? Murder him. Yes. Um, and basically what you want to do is just become a trapper for the winter because you're not going to find much grass. You're not going to find uh, many sticks, anything like that. So you need to be prepared uh, for food. Now, if you take a look, another thing you have to have are crock pots. Um, now, real quickly, I'll just let you know, um, to get the actual drying racks, you need uh, what is called, uh, I think it's, oh, damn it, how could I forget this? Um, it's coal, I believe, and the way you, you get that coal is by burning down trees, so all you really need to do is make one of these torches. They're fairly easy to make with some sticks um, and um, a little bit of grass. You take one of these torches, you right-click on this tree, you light it and walk away. Now, once the tree burns down, um, you run back to it, cut it down, and you're going to get some of this uh, wonderful stuff that helps you make the drying racks. You really need the drying racks, because what they're going to do is they're going to take the meat you've caught, and they're going to basically turn it into jerky. And if it's winter time and you've got jerky, it's never going to run out. You can see I've explored a lot of the map. That's another thing, guys. In this game, you want to explore, explore, explore. Um, and one huge thing is that a really smart thing to do is build next to a pig village. I didn't this time, but I still have this massive base here you guys can see. Um, so that's another thing. Obviously, explore before winter. Um, another very important thing, you want to get some sort of a heat source, and the most important heat source is the thermal stone. The way you do that, I think you go to science over here. Um, let's see if it is in science. It may be in survival, actually. Um, let's go to survival. Take a look at the thermal stone. You need some rocks, you need a pickaxe, and some flint. So it's actually not that hard to make. Um, and you definitely need that to survive the winter, because what that does is you put it in your pack, and it keeps you warm throughout all this nastiness. Um, so that's always a positive thing. And like you see me checking my traps here, you see some of my stuff has already turned to jerky, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that. Um, Crockpots are not essential for the winter, but I really suggest getting at least one crockpot. Um, and it can be kind of annoying to actually get all the ingredients for it, but believe me, it's absolutely worth it. Um, I'll actually take a look here for you guys, and as you can see, I can kind of just relax. I'm not even going crazy here. I'm showing you guys all this and wasting a day, um, and it doesn't even really matter, but you could see, okay, let's see what this is called, charcoal. Sorry, not coal, but it's coal anyway. You need charcoal and you need stone. Now, don't worry. Um, once you have an alchemy machine engine and a science machine, you're going to be able to build all this stuff. And that, th by the way, these are essential things in the game. If you don't know that by now, you probably haven't even made it to winter yet. Um, but you absolutely need to have uh, a science machine and an alchemy engine. Um, this is going to help you throughout the game to, you know, make new things, create things, etc. Um, you may want to know how do you restore your sanity, and honestly, um, I would love to do a video on restoring sanity. Um, but I'm only going to do that if you guys enjoy this video because, uh, you know, Don't Starve is a very popular series and probably a lot of other people are doing videos. So if you enjoyed this tu mini tutorial on the winter, um, make sure to rate down below, comment, etc. And uh, tell me what you think. And uh, from my end, I'm going to go ahead and make myself some meatballs. As you can see, I'm not going to be starving at all. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have an awesome day.